love to, but it's family night. I'm out with my sister, the family lawyer, and there's always Julia. Oh, I've had so much confetti thrown at me. I feel like I've flown the Atlantic. <laughs> Mass exhibitionism, Julia. An oh. escape for the mob. There's Larry. Hello, Larry. Larry, Larry. 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 Larry.
to a circus since I was in short pants. What? What's that? Well, nothing. I just said I hadn't been to a circus since I was in short pants. Oh. <laughs> What's funny about that? Oh, nothing. Just picturing you in short pants. <laughs> Razor, 40 cents, a percentage of ten, a dollar ninety-eight. I didn't know you needed money. Why didn't you ask me? Well, I didn't realize it. Stop this fooling. You've got my ticket. That chap was trying to rip me. Oh, no, Henry. Yes, yes. I had an experience once before with one of those boys in New York. Yes. Oh, yes. really? Only he was very clever. Yeah. At the oh. end of the performance, he made an American flag come right out of my hat. <laughs> no, really? Yes, in New York. Yes. <laughs> These Mardi Gras, you can't tell the actors from the customers.
better. Oh, thank you. Something in the air. <laughs> Oh, nothing. I just have a bit of a headache. I'm going to get something for it. Want me to come along? No, thanks. It's just one of those sudden attacks. Oh, one of those. Then maybe I'd better go along. Oh, Henry. Hey, hey, have a heart. <laughs> I didn't know you so well. I think you had one too many. What's the matter with you? You've been crazy. Oh, I don't know his name, Doug, but he knows how to kiss. How do you tell them? Now, Larry, you know perfectly well you can't get aspirin in a flower shop. No. Those roses. Oh, they're just in fresh. We call them climbing Herbert Hoover. And you can't send roses. They mean... I'll take the last. Oh, yes, sir. There are four dozen. I object. Objection overruled. Four dozen climbing Herbert Hoover's. That is practically inviting a breach of promise suit. I wonder if I'll ever see him again. What are you talking about? What did it happen just like that? How can you buy it off of the show? Well, you'd better. Now, look, Henry. You've done your duty by Aunt Barbara. Now, you run along and play. Four dozen climbing Herbert Hoover's. Would you deliver this to me? Miss Sunny? Yeah. How did you know? Well, if it weren't for Miss Sunny, we'd be selling peanuts around here. Oh. My friend Dexter here does the most remarkable trick, extraordinary. It's French. He thinks he done fizzy whistles, he juggles, and draws the new map of Europe with his tail all at the same time. Which for tonight only. We will get. Yeah, no, 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 Hector. I insist. I insist. I insist. Come right back up here. How's the headache, dear? I'll be all right as soon as the aspirin begins to work. Well, what was it to be? Supper in her private tent with an elephant pouring champagne? Might be exciting at that. Yes, the jaded palace. his idea of a nice apology. He has nothing to apologize about. I asked him to kiss me. You did what? I asked him to kiss me. Climbing Herbert Hoover. Muggins, I'm going up to your best dress out in that howling mob. Oh, you should see him get me through that howling mob. Bonsoir, 
monsieur Warren. Je vois le vous. Il y a longtemps que je ne l'ai pas vu. Comment allez-vous? Oui. Now, this is my sister, Miss Warren. Miss Wanamid and Mr. Bates. Any friend of Mr. Warren is a <laughs> friend of the Ross. Uh, Larry, we'll be back in a moment. Je vais vous chercher une table. La plus fun. La plus bonne de ma tante est très bon. I know that one. <laughs> Now, Larry, I'd be very nice to this little Juliet girl. Well, of course, why not? After all, the runny needs, you know, they don't grow trees, and you're Aunt Barbara. Look, Henry, for 364 days out of the year, you can be Aunt Barbara's watchdog trying to run my life. But tonight, why don't you relax and have a little fun? Be a Swiss guide and go yodeling through the gap. Yodeling? <laughs> Thanks for yodeling at my time of life. Yeah, <laughs> You will all start off with our famous deluxe oysters, of course. Oh, not for me, thank you. I don't care for oysters. Oh, you haven't tasted a deluxe oyster. No, and I don't think I shall. I think I'd rather have some, uh, some uh, turtle soup. You won't like it. My dear sir, please, don't argue with me. I am a lawyer. I am a chef. And I can recommend you the oysters. But I hate oysters. But they don't taste like oysters. Well, I don't want oysters that don't taste like oysters. I want turtle soup that does not taste like turtle... Larry, 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 listen, I've lost him. Please, Dolan, please. Hello, hello. Are you sure, Freddie? I've been here since 4 o'clock and nobody's been around. Hello? I'd like to speak to Miss Sally Sullivan. Morgan, somebody wants to talk to her now. She don't want to talk to anyone. She's got a date. She's gone. She's gone. All right, thank you. I'll put your oysters on the fire. Turtle, soup. Still no sign of him. Are you sure, Muggins? You know what they're like out there. I'm only telling you what Freddy told me. He's been on duty since 4 o'clock and he never slips up. Oh, we'll have those sent over to the hospital. With the greatest of pleasure. You were right, Muggins, as usual. Now with three. I got two. Next hand, we'll play without cheating. Professor. Honey, remember that rain check? That I do. Well, it's raining. Stood up? Mm -hmm. First time, and I don't like it. How about some coffee and donuts? Coffee and donuts? Egghead, bring along that breakaway suit of yours. We're going places with Sonny Sullivan. <laughs> Oh, let's go someplace else. Oh, no, sis. This is the best food in the country. No, I, I am famished. What is it, Larry? A horse. Why, well, Elizabeth, it looks like the horse that's only rode in the circus, doesn't it? No. This is the mama of Seabiscuit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oysters to wash, of course. Of course. I'm awfully sorry that I had to be so firm with that oyster peddler, but I was determined to get what I wanted here. The turtle soup, sir? Oh, thank you. I don't believe you like the Russian. I do like it. I do. It is place. But I think it's the place of every good restaurant to realize that the customer is always right. Even when he's wrong, he's right. Ah! <laughs> wait! <laughs> wait! <laughs> What do you want? A little bit of everything. I'll be off drink. What's the matter? Have you seen a ghost?
what you must think of me for breaking my date, but I have a very good reason. Yes, I saw her. Yes, you saw her. Well, now, if you don't mind, I'll get back to my friend. Ah, uh, but I do mind. Sorry, Sullivan, you're going to have supper with me. Oh, am I? Mm hmm. In the stars. No, that's not fair. You know very well an Irish girl wouldn't want to cross even one star. Oh, come on, let me show you how to get a ten course dinner in New Orleans without ever leaving the sidewalk. All right? Oh, not a bit hungry. Fresh, fresh shrimp! Here comes the first course. No. Have a taste of the Louisiana shrimp? No. Smell. Sonic. Sonic. Just the place to get the next course. Automobile magnets, me? Just a hard-working engineer. Well, how about Warren Moses? Oh, that's my aunt Barbara. Oh, it's all in the family. Yes. Yeah. You know, the Warren family's been in the automobile business for over 35 years. Oh, upstart. What? You know, the Sullivans have been in show business for over 300 years. Oh, hello. My sister could have only heard you say that. <laughs> Evening, children. We got legs, wings, bread, ham, and home. I'll take wings. Same for you, sir? No, Mammy, I'll take a half. I'm up a type for wings. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, hey, Ken. Oh. Oh, hello. Uh, what have you got there? It's Eustace. Eustace? Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, I mean, most girls would be afraid if they saw him up. Hello! <laughs> You're doing well. Aunt Barbara will be delighted. There, Juliet. <laughs> you know, Egghead, lots of men have told me that they're in love with me. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> You don't think my money has anything to do with it? No. <laughs> what kind of money have you? Oh, about two million. About two million? Dollars? <laughs> two million dollars and you run around like that with holes in your clothes? And... Where's Sonny? I wouldn't know, my good man. Egghead. Oh, but, uh, uh, Professor uh, Bunny Billings, Miss Juliet running me. You do. I know. <laughs> What could have happened to her? Oh, sis is all right. I wouldn't worry about her. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> da da dum, da 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 dum. Let your star fall down for shocking. The town is all that you do. That's a good memory. Smiling all the while, calm boy. Where'd you get that smile from? Boy, little sunny girl, be my honey girl, I'm for you. Da -da 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 -da. I'm for you. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> now it's such was in dessert. We should have brought egg here. His bad boy gets over still with coffee out of the cream. I was planning on crepes with egg. I've got a better idea. This time you follow me. Right. But why do they call it Mardi Gras? Well, because it's Fat Tuesday. Fat Tuesday? Yes. 
Last day, you can eat all you want. Oh, oysters, rock fella. Coubillon, gumbo, crepe Suzette. You'd want to eat a crepe Suzette if they could get an apple taffy. A taffy apple? Uh-uh. Apple taffy. Everyone knows that. Look, I come from a long line of taffy apple eaters. The Warrens were noted for it. So don't try to tell me about a taffy apple. You don't even know how to eat one. You no? Know? Oh, oh. No true apple taffy eater would ever begin by biting into the side of it. Why not? That's the spirit of adventure. Now, an Irishman always starts by biting the top of the apple taffy. All right. Apple taffy, apple apple, you win. But only because I don't want to spend the last hour of mine to go arguing about a taffy. Apple taffy. Only one more hour. Mm hmm? Well, the bells of St. Louis ring out the Mardi Gras. Wonder if Cinderella hated the clock. What? Right? Yes. Dreams would live on the rays of the moon and die as soon as they set eyes on the sun. Hey, that's good. It ought to be. <laughs> a little bit of meddling bluebird. Sonny. Do you remember the first time you were thrown into my arm? Just about a hundred years ago? Mm -hmm. That couldn't have been just an accident, could it? Mm -hmm. the sidewalk and two coffee? Oh, all right. Where are we going? French market? Come on, you'll see.
a farewell performance at your age. I can't believe it. Well, you expected me to get married sometime, didn't you, Morgan? No, I didn't expect you to be picked up and kissed by a strange man and come home engaged all in the same night. Oh, what a night, huh? Louisiana shrimp, fried chicken, apple taffy, and the little sippy. That's not love, that's indigestion. You're on, Miss Sullivan. Here it is. with the pipe. Two jolly blue boys, two tried and true boys, they call me Sam Garb. I'm Jack Ha <laughs> Talk about women, they fall for a garb. Can stick to your job, kneel down and swab. Say, really, go blow me. From a lime. Eh? Uh, the We do the on pipe when Neptune gets rough. No boogie woogie. Uh, the on pipe's all stuff. <laughs> I told her to be careful of that one. I'm sorry, madam. I was a little startled. You better get him up right away, Johnson. Uh, yes, madam. Oh. Oh, your lovely perfume. Perfume? That Scottish queen and little blister at the bottoms of your feet. Ah, oh, Barbara. Now, run along, Lizzie, and get me a bottle of beer to take with my bicarbonate. with you. Rushing me back here just because Larry got himself engaged to Juliet Runnymede. Juliet Runnymede? Won't you sit down? No. Uh, may I? Uh... No. Those are my jewelry pistols. Present from the Maharaja. I taught him to rumba and he taught me to shoot. Shoot? Shoot. His father about Runnymede. Well, what about him? Juliet is a debutante who came out a little too late, but she has two million dollars. Cowboy taught me to do that. <laughs> It may be loaded. Yes, of course it's loaded. As a matter of fact, Miss Barber, I'm not going to marry Miss Runningfield. Well, I'm rather pleased he isn't going to marry Juliet. There are just as many girls with just as much money who aren't half-witted. Yes, but this girl is no one you know. No? Who is it? Well, she is. She is. If you don't mind, I'll tell you over there. 
Miss Carroll, yes. What am I aiming at now, Henry? Now? Oh, it's that beautiful inlaid clock. Larry is going to marry. That is... Let's stop that double talk, Henry. It certainly doesn't look like a clock to me. No. Oh, yes, there's a clock. You met this girl in a circus. Oh, that's nothing. I met the Maharaja on a Ferris wheel. But this girl is of the circus. She rides in the circus on a white horse. She dives into a tank. How quaint. She what? She is a circus horseback actress. <laughs> My, what a good shot. The Sultan's horse. Henry, I was not aiming at the horse. Goodbye in show business, so I'm just going to slip out when nobody's looking. It's a lot easier that way. You'll understand, won't you, Patty? Why ain't everybody feeding on Shoy? The governor's got something to say. Joe? Major? It is needless for me to say that. Your absence will be keenly felt, not only by myself, but by your co-worker. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is, we'll miss you. And with your leaving, we all feel like folding up. But instead, going right on, doing as good a show as we can. Don't ever think that any of us here will ever forget you. As a little tribute, we've... Hey, where is it? Hey, hey, where, where's the property man? Where's that box? Where are those things? She's got to wear them. Oh, there they are. <laughs> this is from all of us. From the roustabouts on up. It's, uh, well, we thought of uh, getting you a nice box. But we figure the Warrens have plenty of electric ice boxes. <laughs> something for you to wear when you meet your ritzy relatives. Uh, don't open it until you get there. I'm going to be. Went for a long walk. I believe he said 
through the swamps. Uh, Johnson, this is my fiance, Miss Sullivan. Hello, Johnson. How do you do, Miss? Excuse me, sir. Well, Johnson approved. Well, that's the first hurdle. This is the second hurdle. Sir, it's the factory. You mind me for just one minute, business? Oh, I should say not, darling. This is no time to be losing your job. <laughs> At seven o'clock, there will be a light meal served in your room. At eight o'clock, Miss Barbara Warren will receive you down here in the hall. And if I may say so, Miss, that means eight o'clock. What a funny way to receive people, sitting way out there in the middle of nowhere. She's been receiving like that ever since she saw Queen Victoria do it in Buckingham Palace. Hello, baby. Oh, there you are. Yes, here I am. Well, what the... How are you? Oh, all right. Now, where is she? She has two minutes yet. She won't be late. She'll probably make up for lost time by riding down the stairs on a white horse. And she looks as though she just won the Kentucky Derby. Darling, this is Aunt Barbara. Hello. Elizabeth, you know. I suppose this is what you'd call making a grand entrance. In other words, darling, in behalf of the Warrens, welcome to Waverley Hall. I haven't seen that many orchids since those gangster funerals in Chicago. Yes, they're lovely, aren't they? Everybody in the show chipped in. They were a farewell gift. Sentimental for being out, too. Well, it does kind of bring them along with me, you know. Huggins and Barney and Egghead. And I suppose that is the tattooed lady. <laughs> <laughs> Let us go into the drawing room. Oh, now I know why you call her the old dragon. Don't worry, darling. Aunt Barbara's bar is worse than her bite. Oh, well, that's some consolation. Johnson, get me a drink. Yes. An old-fashioned with a dash of absinthe. Yes. Muggins. Eggheads. Running. Oh. First time. You remember Riverboat? It'll be a little awkward getting close to you, isn't it? Oh, all right. Don't you dare tell Muggins. I promise. Oh, Fitz. This is up in Miss Sullivan's room. Take great care of him. Watch out for distress signals. You ought to know. Never take me eyes off you. Poor little Muggins and the tattooed lady had a short life. Sit down. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful to be her sister-in-law? Well, thank goodness that'll never happen to you, Miss Judy. Sullivan, Sullivan, what branch of the Sullivan? Oh, my grandfather came from Inniskillen. Oh, the hunting Sullivan. No, the flying Sullivan. The flying Sullivan? Yes, darling, the flying Sullivan. My grandmother was the greatest in Europe. It isn't everyone who can boast of a family tree in which her own grandmother actually swung. Well, what are we going to do now? Are we going to stay here all night listening to that chamber music? I didn't think we'd need any other entertainment with so much home talent. You'll sing for it, of course, son. I will. Don't tell me you sing, too. Oh, I've really not got very much of a voice. Oh, go ahead. I hate people who have to be coached. Come on, sing. Larry, will you play for me? You bet I will. You can sit down now. Good thing. You know what I'd like to do? Get right in the middle of that floor and shout. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes. yes. Oh, Henry, don't you just love music? Especially the three Bs. Three Bs? Oh, oh yes, of course. Bach, Beethoven. And Boogie Woogie. What's she going to sing? Nothing you're apt to know, darling. 
you're going to sing. Okay? Yes. Here comes your boogie woogie now. Some of it myself. You remember the final scene? She's 
tiny. And she handed him the little mirror. Silver mirror? Yes, yes, it was. It was a picture. And she said, if anyone asked you, say, um... Someone who loved you well. Kate Sullivan herself. Oh, you're marvelous. So are you. Aunt Barbara will be delighted when she hears you've reached the factory, Mr. Sullivan. Very generous. She's... Poor Henry. I'm beginning to realize why Larry fell in love with you. May I give you a little advice? Now, hold, darling. I've just got away from my Barbara. Good night, Eric. Well, what's the matter? Oh, you promised not to let Elizabeth get you down. Oh, Larry, please, in the morning. about. I frighten everybody. You know, Sonny, you're the first real human being that's been in this family since Jean the pirate. He was on my side of the family, of course. Want me to roll you up? Oh, no, thank you. Call me Aunt Barbara. Go ahead. Try it. From the moment you told me why you wanted to wear those orchids, I knew you had stuff. Why did you send Mr. Bates into? I sent Henry so you could make a fool of him. From what I hear, you did better than I expect. Oh, I only hope Larry is good enough for you. Well, that isn't what I was thinking a few minutes ago. I know. Planning the courageous exit. Why exit courageously? Why exit at all? Might this help? Now, I want you to promise me that you won't do anything noble and ridiculous before you see Larry. Go on. Promise. I promise. And now, either stamp it out or let it blaze. I want to be kidding you, buddy. Blind leading the blind. That's what they call me. I'm the black sheep of the family. Well, I better get in now. Hi, dear. Giving me the sniffles. Good night, Aunt Baba. But if you ever tell anybody about me being an old softy, you ought to see me with the Maharajas. Dueling pistols. <laughs>
darling, you've got to be worried. What's the matter? Well, Larry. Well, what's that for? Don't know. She's so... So unexpected, yes, I know. But she's all for you. I know, Larry. What about all those others? Oh, forget it. They're a tough audience. Honey, they'll be in the palm of your hand before the first act's over. Elizabeth? I'll take care of Lizzie. Look here, darling. I don't care if the whole bunch walk out as long as you walk in. Are you sure, Larry? Am I sure? Are you quite sure? Honey, look at me. Do you love me? Do you mean it? bride to be beneath a Kate Sullivan. Kate Sullivan, as you know, the late, great Kate Sullivan. And fancy spangled swimmer. She numbered among her repertoire such marvelous plays as Camille, Ibsen's Wild Duck, Shaw's Pygmalion. Yeah, today became the bride of Lawrence Warren, millionaire auto manufacturer. After the brilliant ceremony, the young couple left for a honeymoon in Hawaii. <laughs> Of course, you can't really say that. They're not even married yet. You'll <laughs> find a list of the bridesmaids and all the other junk on my desk. Something old, that's me. Something new, that's you. Something borrowed, here. That was once a brand new penny that I was to wear in my shoe on my wedding day. Oh, Aunt Barbara, you never know. Nothing told. to tell. He was a lieutenant. Handsomest boy you ever saw. I wasn't so bad myself then. Same little thing like you. He heard somewhere that my family didn't think he was good enough for me. We broke it off. You never saw him again? He died last year, a general. Confounded fool. If he hadn't been so stubborn and married me, he'd been commander-in-chief. Well, but they don't know you very well, do they? No. I don't talk my fool head off to everyone. You punch that out for me, Russ. I can get to the track this afternoon. Yeah, I'll be here for a couple more highballs. Young man. If you were sent to cover a murder, you'd at least have the decency to remain until the crime was committed. My apology. All right. Well, I must go and get the rest of my war paint on. I don't suppose there'll be many more weddings for me in Waverly Hall. Oh, something blue. Oh, Bob. <laughs> Things borrowed. Something blue. Ah, ladies. Where do you get the tape? 
church? Well, uh, anyway, standing on the stairs. <laughs> Drop your passengers, park in the rear courtyard, your number's 91. Yes, sir. See who that was? Yeah, they're all here today, the whole blue book. Drop your passengers, park in the rear courtyard. I wonder what her people are like. My dear, people like that haven't got any people. <laughs> Can you imagine Sunny's surprise when she sees us? Ah, uh, Governor, that's what I call a bow gesture. If I'd had to close the show for three weeks, I wouldn't have missed the wedding. Boys, don't forget the timing. As soon as the I do's are over, I make the announcement. Then Hector comes in with a big horseshoe. <laughs> no. That's what I said, Hector doesn't. We don't in. want Hector till the finale. Well, that will make him awfully angry, boss. We better leave him outside. Muggins, darling. Oh, Muggins, I'm so glad you can make it. Wild elephants couldn't keep me away. Oh, how's everyone? Oh, what are you playing? What's a new girl like? Fair. Mm. Penny doesn't like us. You never could pull off. Oh, <laughs> Margaret! <laughs> Let's have a look at you. Oh, you look like a million. How do you feel? Terrible. Only three lines at the top, but I couldn't be more nervous if I had to go on and play Ophelia. That's fine. Now I know you'll give a great performance. I've tied lots of these askers, Larry, but never on such a memorable occasion. Imagine the niece of the great Kate Sullivan. I'd like to punch this guy. Now, careful. Don't you lose that temper of yours. I had those reporters absolutely eating out of my hand when I told them about Kate. Yes, I know, but some of this stuff's not funny. Why don't you leave us alone? Have you an invitation, sir? Uh, no, but I'd like to see Miss Elizabeth Warren for a moment. Would you stay? Good morning, Doctor. Uh, good morning, ma'am. How do you do, sir? I'm sorry, but as you see, there's a wedding going on. Oh, I know. That's rather important. My name is Billing. A funny Billing. We can. Uh, You'll see that she's ready to leave her room by 11, won't you? Yes. There's a Mr. Billings to see you, miss. He appears to be an itinerary tradesman. Johnson, you know I can't see anyone now. Uh, quite so. Oh, Johnson, did he say his name was Bonnie Billings? I believe he did mention a Bonnie. I'll see him. Yes. I think Elizabeth is bearing up magnificently. Well, she realizes nothing can stop it now. Haven't you finished this thing yet? Calm down. Now, calm down. That's all you have to do. Just take your cue from me. There. Now, Larry, when I pull out the ring, why you were the ring. The ring? I had it. I had it right there in this pocket. I had it. Well, whose who's, who's wedding is this? What are you getting nervous about? Let's get your ring on, dear. They want you downstairs in just ten minutes. Oh, if you please. No, no. Fefe showed me exactly how he wanted it put on. Will you give that to me? What would Fefe know about dressing Sonny Sullivan? That's been my job ever since I made her first little ballet skirt. Oh, Mrs. DePeister. This is Mrs. Muggins. He used to help me in the show. How do you do? How do you do? Oh, would you mind? Certainly not, if you wish it. She wishes it. Just ten minutes. All right. Well, she won't miss her cue. Do you know, Egghead, all my life I've wanted to be in the circus. Not really. You know, Winnie always wanted to be out of one. Oh, how quaint. <laughs> Killing you. <laughs> Listen, fellas, you're all in here on passes. No tricks. Don't worry, Governor, the monkeys and the elephants will be performing for us today. Major, I said no tricks. Johnson? Be nonchalant, boys. That means in French, wire. I'm happy, too. Oh, darling. Not like you to cry. Cry? <laughs> well, that crying way to get a load of me at the wedding. Uh oh, I <laughs> Oh, run down, darling. I wonder how I look when I come down. Hey, somebody just had to write a 
a sealskin coat. So what? Nothing, only you just walked in. Walked in. Victor, <laughs> what are you doing here? Don't you know there's a wedding going on? Hi, <laughs> Major. How do you do? Good to see you. Uh, uh, the minute I spotted that seal, I know I'd seen your face before. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, meet the governor, Bully Billings. Remember me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, who are you? I used to cover vaudeville for variety. Caught your act in Washington. Yeah, so you did. Uh, had the pigeons then. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, of course. They were drafting. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they booked a wedding out of half-baked loudmouth animal act. Oh, Egghead, I just adore show talk. How about giving us a break? Two pictures on the society page would be a big help. Why not? How about it, fellas? Sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, take this. Get in this All thing right. here. Trying to steal a show, huh? When this will you join the circus? We'll smear that guy with a mahatcha. We'll smear him with a mahatcha? The mahatcha. It's a dance. Oh, but I can't dance. You don't have to dance. You just come along for the ride. Get out of the way, Major. Here we come. Jive, Gypsies, jive. Elizabeth, the ring. Have you got the ring? Of course not. You have it. No, no, I have it. I have it in this pocket all the time, but now it's... It, it, oh, yes, look. It must have been in this pocket all the time. <laughs> oh, dear. to find out. Well, will you stop it? Never did I think I'd see the day when a seal would be waltzing around in Waverly Hall. Yes. Oh, I know you're drunk. Oh, I wish I were. I tell you, you've got to do something. About what? About the seal, about the acrobats, about Juliet running me, doing the Mahuchka with fried egg roustabout. What are you talking about? Downstairs in your drawing room. Can you come downstairs right away, dear? The bunch. They're ad living all over the parlor. The bunch? It was supposed to have been a surprise for you, but it's gone all fluey. Oh, Muggins, but I can't. It's 
ordinary season for the wedding. It's bad luck. It'll be worse luck if you don't come down, darling. All right. Mr. Warren, how about one of you and the seal? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Warren. I, I guess we kind of broke things up. Get out. All right. Shut up. Get out or I'll throw you out. Hey, Rube. Lay off. Mr. Warren, do you know what hey, Rube means? In exactly two minutes, where Waverly Hall once stood. But don't worry. We're going quietly. But only on account of Sonny. Look, mister, take your train, seal your monkeys, and get going. Larry! Don't interrupt me. But Larry, these are my... Get you out of this sort of thing. You don't have to marry me to get me out of anything. Now, Sonny, keep out of this. It's bad enough without you making a scene. Me making a scene? Isn't that what's been expected of me ever since I came here? Wasn't I supposed to come riding in on a white horse or sliding down a tightrope? Take it easy, Sonny. It'll be all right as soon as I get the gang out. Oh, wait a minute, honey. My friends are staying. Your friends are going. All right. I'm going, too. I wouldn't treat one of them for a whole bunch of snobs you call your friends. We've been thrown out before. Run out of tank towns and two St. Carnivals. But we always stuck together. And that's the way it is now. Then we'd better call it off until you come to your senses. Don't worry. I've come to my senses just in time. I'm glad this happened when it did. That's the way you feel. Honey. Hold your horses, honey. We've got to straighten this out. Oh, come on. Let's leave him on a laugh. Get some water, Muggins. Oh, no, I don't want any water. Russ, kill that wedding copy I gave you. Now, the impressive ceremony just turned into a brawl with seals, acrobats, elephants. No, I haven't been drinking, and the bride and groom are having a knockdown drag out in the middle of it. Honey, why did you bring them in before the wedding? Oh, that Warren dame, uh, Lizzie, insisted. Come on, I'm all right. Got it. You may need this. Thank you. I'm quite sure you need this. <laughs> wow! The charming bride just kicked her sister-in-law right in the middle of the lobby. Oh, Father! She kicked me. Who did? Sonny. Sonny? Oh, well, that's what I always wanted to do myself. What's going on here? It's all off, Aunt Barbara. What is? Oh, everything. Operator. Operator. Too late! But you gotta kill it! Hang up down there. I want the police. This is important. Hang up yourself! Miss Ross, I'm not kidding. She kicked your sister in the lobby and the wedding's all off! The wedding is off! Oh, get me the police. Get me the fire department. Get me an aspirin. Would you care to make a statement for the press, Miss Warren? Young man, for once in my life, I have nothing to say. Don't, Muggins, it's all right. Oh, but it does. We broke it up, and I can't bear it. It doesn't matter, Muggins. I guess I'm not much good at drawing rooms, Bob. This is where I belong. You'd belong anywhere, Sonny. <laughs> I've never been away. How's the house? It's breaking my heart, turning them away by the hundreds. No. Every seat gone could have sold out three times over. God, that's wonderful. Ten hey, minutes. There she goes. I'll be waiting for you. Right. Come on, Muggins. I hear they couldn't even give the man any seats. Well, it's a good thing somebody's still interested. Sonny Sullivan, if you're still thinking about this. I'm not. Say you're not. How you could think you could get along without all this. I must have been crazy. I'll say you were. 
Doors open. Once more, then we'll break it up. If you say so, rehearsing for three weeks and every day it gets worse. Five minutes, Sonny. I'm ready. There's a riot at the box office. They want tickets I haven't got. Got to call out the police. Oh, that's swell. Well, Jim, if I can draw a crowd like this by doing a few stunts, I might get them to come and see me in a legitimate show. Of course you could. It means a lot of hard work, though. Well, that's the idea. Oh, you know, Aunt Kate always used to say every actress needed a kick in the pants before she amounted to anything. You gave Lizzie enough of a jolt to make her a Sarah Bernhardt. Change to your sunshine costume? Oh, sure. Why? What's the idea? I'll tell you what I want to do. I'm going to hold a parade for the finale. Start with my new number, then sunshine. I don't want them to see you until then. It'll be a sock opening for you. Oh, buddy, you're a darling. Thanks. Come on, Patty, you can relax. We got a step in here. You've got to hurry, honey. We only got about two minutes. Mm -hmm. Isn't it like Bunny giving me such a break on a night like this? Up yet out there? I don't 
can't see a thing with all those spotlights on Bunny. They're so quiet. You've never had a better audience in your life. Good luck, Sonny. Oh, thanks.
like to join my show, offering half interest in more streamlined cobalt. All right. Titan going up, Miss Sullivan. Hey, Charlie, take a look at the shore. I've got them lined up and hidden hatches. Honey girl, you're my honey girl. 